What is going on there, Reject Nation? Welcome to the Space Jam. <laughs> this is your chance to feel fine. All right. Yeah, it is awesome. I believe I can fly. I'm going to touch the sky. Touch the sky. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves R. Kelly these days. <laughs> As we're watching Space Jam and New Legacy today, it is available on HBO Max. If you want to do a stream along with us, full length watch longs are over at our Patreon. Over there, we cover a whole bunch of other shows with the same tier. You get the option for reaction highlights and watch along included and everyone who joins especially for the ones that come out on hbo max really appreciate it because uh odds are this will not be monetized especially because of all the songs that are probably featured in here all that ip but if you guys end up enjoying our reaction please go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more from us subscribe and click that notification bell lastly gotta thank pratham jindal for editing these highlights for us uh you are a, a hustler baby stick around to see what our opinions are after the reaction is done Let's get to it. All right, my shift's not over till nine. So tell Coach C I'm gonna be a few minutes late picking you up, okay? Good luck out there today. Hey, Brian, you forgetting something? La Mom James. What's up, Brian? What's up, Malik? My dad got me to do coloring. Cool. Nah, uh, I still have mine. Aww, collect them carrots. Man, LeBlanc would have actually been good at basketball if he didn't play so much Game Boy. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it's a damn Game Boy. You could be a once in a generation talent if you focus on the game of basketball and not these distractions. You got the chance to use basketball to change everything for your mom, for you, for everybody who you care about. It's gonna become so literal soon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Little did he know, though, he should have kept the Game Boy. Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. <laughs> Emmy nominated Don Cheadle. Hopefully, he'll get a Best Lead Actor nomination at the Oscars for this. <laughs> I like the animation effects they brought her. Yeah, it's a nice way to jump you back in without just going straight to Looney Tunes. Well, not just shut up and dribble. And a cool way to replicate the Michael Jordan montage from the first one. <laughs> See if you can back it up. All right, don't get cross. <laughs> no. What was that? You piece of shit. <laughs> you got a video game? I better not find a video game here. Everything in between these four lines is work. Who said I wasn't working? This thing right here. In and out, cross and over, out. step back. Come on, Dom. You gotta concentrate. God, Dom, you're a failure. <laughs> in and out, cross over, step back, shoot. Yup. See, that's because your brother been putting in that work. I ball all day. <laughs> <laughs> got basketball camp next weekend. Boy's gonna be coming at your neck. Seeing what you got. My reputation's on the line. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> My career rides on your camp. He's 12 and he built his own game. All the distractions. He doesn't need a coach. He needs his dad. That was, that's the line. Dude. I, it, that might be the theme of this movie. I think there's a lot of themes established, John. <laughs> Marketing. <laughs> oh, hey, I drive past here all the time. like a Warner Brothers 3D simulator yeah, ride. Yeah, I can't wait to ride this at the studio tour. <laughs> the server verse. <laughs> oh my god. You think the Snyder Cut exists in here too? It's all there. <gasps> Including the Green Lantern footage, it's there. <laughs> Algorithmically speaking, he's more than an athlete. He's a king. <laughs> king... LeBron. Just look at this guy, Pete. Once I partnered with King James and combined his fame with my incredible tech, <laughs> I will finally get the recognition and respect that I so richly deserve. That whole scene was longer than what he got nominated for at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get that Oscar nod for that. 
You're wasting your time. <laughs> Go dribble. <laughs> work on that layup. Stop, stop learning how computers work. I still have to figure out some of the player designs. Nice. Ooh, posterized. Posterized. It's like basketball, but better. Remember fun, Dad? I am fun. In and yeah. out. Crossover, step, step back. back. Let it go. <gasps> no, no. Don't erase my character. Hey, I think I got something that'll cheer you up. I'm meeting that Warner Brothers about some high-tech movie thing. You should come. Please, Dad, Dad. No, I said please. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Scoob, The Matrix, Teen Titans. They're just posters. <laughs> They're Easter eggs. <laughs> I'm an algorithm here at Warner Brothers. Space Jam. <laughs> but now, it's time for our greatest creation yet. Warner 3000. Our brand new Warner 3000 technology will scan you right into the movies. Think about it. Batman versus LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron of Throne. Oh no. I mean, look at him. Look at that face. He's speechless. He, he loves it. Listen, guys, I'm a ball player. You know, an athlete's acting, that never goes well. <laughs> <laughs> this idea is just straight up bad. Algorithm is busted. <laughs> busted? It's among the worst ideas I've ever heard. <laughs> Top five, easy. <laughs> I'm actually building my own video game. You heard of the E3 game design camp, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going. There's going to be a whole. Oh, I'm actually oh, looking for. Dom, you can't go to that. Basketball camp is next weekend. I'm not going to basketball camp, Dad. It's not what I want, Dad. You can't just leave a Warner Brothers meeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to go live with Stephen Young and Sarah Silver. <laughs> Dom. I'm connected to the father son relationship. I'm not gonna, not yeah. gonna lie. I like it. Right this way, King James. No. You know I can't let you back out of camp like this. You make me hate basketball. Ouch. You never let me do what I want to do. Oh, hold, hold up. Wrong floor. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Streaming services. <laughs> 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 We're in the computer. We're in the computer? Dad. You know I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Siri. Nothing to be afraid of. The computer's black. I can see that. <laughs> computer's black. black. You really shouldn't have projected my ideas back there. Now I'm afraid you're going to have to help me fulfill my destiny. <laughs> We're going to play a game of basketball in front of the largest captive audience ever. When they see the two of us together, and the entire world is gonna know the name of King Algae Rhythm. Algae Rhythm. If you win, you and your son can ski daddle on out of here. When you lose, you're just gonna have to stay here in the server verse with me. That is messed up, dude. You know, you think this is a game. I I'm calling authorities on you, because what you got going on here? On this phone? How'd you do that? LeBron, why are you worried about the authorities when you should be out there looking for a team? <sighs> Send this clown to the rejects. <gasps> Join us. Hey. A little classic love. <laughs> I want to change the theme songs. <laughs> they gotta acknowledge the first Space Jam movie. Absolutely. It's already it's already appeared once. What is this? Oh, shorter than Kevin Hart. <laughs> is this where the game is gonna happen? Where is everybody? <laughs> Wait, it's only one? I, I guess right now. The question is who's left? Hello! I'm assuming it's just bugs. This looks authentically kind of 2D animated. This is beautiful. Oh! What's up, Doc? Oh! <laughs> Bugs, buddy? <laughs> Bugs! 
I can't believe. Bring it in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in, man. I love Smoke's funny, man. <laughs> Aren't you LeBron James? <laughs> Pugs Bunny knows who I am. <laughs> Out. I do not understand this world. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> he butted them up, saying they were wasting their time. That there was much more to see in a cyber voice than old Toon World. It made them turn their backs on who they really were. Oh, poor bugs. That's terrible. Family's everything. Yep. No. You want me to play with you, an NBA superstar, in a high-stakes basketball game? Sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> but yeah, that actually sums it up well. Hmm. <laughs> I think I know a way that can help the both of us. That is so creative. Well. A planet. Hey. Yay. Oh. And I think LeBron does a really good job on the voiceover here. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like he's having fun with it. It's all a lie. <laughs> he hated this experience. <laughs> Come on, let's boogie. What? You're selling his ship. I didn't agree to this. My ship? <laughs> Blasted rabbit. Charles, Charles Ray. Ray. <laughs> uh oh. oh Bugs! Help! Help! Whoa! <laughs> He's out there looking for a team. A team? Yeah. He challenged me to a basketball game. Aww. Who built this? Well, someone brilliant. Visionary. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you made your own character, too. Yeah, but he got deleted because of some stupid glitch. <gasps> what happened to the glitch? Oh, I think the glitch is all part of the plan. Look what I found. <laughs> Oh, Bugs has got a hidden agenda. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I was just uh, asking you. Ugh. Hey, what's that for, Doc? We're gonna need the most powerful Warner Brothers characters for this team. Now let's see. <laughs> Gotta start with Superman. Man, I could've used him on the cast. Ooh, King Kong, he'd be a beast on the boards. <laughs> We're gonna need a strong power forward. Iron Giant, put him on the same team as his hero, Superman. <laughs> yes, Bat Trinity Batman. <laughs> so how come you stayed on Toon World? Where I belong. Yo, is that Harry Potter World? <laughs> <laughs> <Humble Pop? laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad someone's excited to be a Hufflepuff. <laughs> I can't wait to see what I turn into here. Oh, it's gonna be somebody dope. <laughs> hey, yo, yes. yo! <laughs> it brought the animation style back for it. This has mm. got to be the nicest surprise about this movie so far. <laughs> Unless someone stops this thing, it'll crash straight into <laughs> orphanage. <laughs> Cool. Uh, no. Where's Superman? Is see Alfred in the back there? Is that Alfred? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Superman, come on. Uh, we did it? Oh no, you don't, Rabbit. I did this. It was me. I'm ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <it's> so cool. <laughs> But now we got a crew up. Build our elite squad so I can get my son back. And that's exactly what we'll do. It's draft day. Why don't you get Michael Jordan? <laughs> yeah. And Larry Bird and Charles Barkley. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, no. What? 
Sylvester, is that you? Buffer and fuck attack! <laughs> Can we just get some players who are at least tall enough to ride a roller coaster? Oh, how cool. He's your problem now, Dum Dum! <laughs> Rick and Morty to me. <laughs> Uh. Hey, what's in your hand? <laughs> Can't a lady check her Twitter? Abuela, let's do this. <laughs> what's happening, bro? Arriba! Gotta give me at least one real ball player, Bugs. Well, I got just the player you need. A true friend of the court. Ah, uh, here it comes. Here oh, it I comes. bet she's gonna look so sexy. That's right. <laughs> you have earned the right to become one of us. <laughs> excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Here she is. <laughs> oh, man, <that> is here. <laughs> We gotta play a basketball game! <laughs> I spent years training for this. Do not mess it up for me. I have to save my son. What? Uh, Lola cares. <clears throat> Lola, we need your help! We really <laughs> That's a trot. <laughs> Heavens. Oh no. I failed. A warrior is judged not only by her skill, but by her values. You are now an Amazon. Is that Rosario Dawson? Oh, maybe. Oh. God, I'm so distracted by her redesign. No. Ah, Arr. Arr. Not sexy enough. Too sexy, which, which is. But it'll do for now. <laughs> <laughs> I can still use that imagery later. But... <laughs> I can get someone online to commission me something much more ideal. <laughs> Just jokes, people. Dad hooked me up with some of his friends at an NBA charity event. I thought maybe they could help me with the character designs for my game. <laughs> oh. Stored all the scans right on my phone. This phone? So theoretically, this app of yours <laughs> can scan people in from anywhere in the world using their own phones. Yeah, I guess. That is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really a shame that your dad doesn't support you. I mean, I get it. He's one of the greatest of all time at what he does. Well, the jury's still out on that, I think. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know a way we can fix this. We're gonna make your dad stand up and take notice of you, young prince. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, boy. Do you guys not remember anything from the first Space Jam movie? Right, guys, come on. <laughs> uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't real basketball. You're right, but it's fun. You remember fun, don't you, Doc? He does not even sound like that. That loser son of his. Yeah. God. This is all his fun talk. Suicide Squad. <laughs> they advertise a Suicide Squad. Oh, it's <laughs> coming out soon, isn't it? You can become the player that your dad always wanted you to be. That is a s disgusting story about father and sons. <laughs> horrendous nature. Unaccepting. Turn. Uh. That's it. Hmm? Yes! Ah, yes. Let's max the character out. You really are captain of my basketball team. 
<laughs> you said we were rebuilding my character. You never said anything about me actually playing in the game. Dads don't understand reason, Tom. They understand power. You make him see that you are special. <laughs> I really like Don Cheadle in this movie. I right? did you too. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a full on character. Yeah. No. He's your father! Uh. Whoa. I got handles. You got mad handles. There's no way we're gonna get beat now. That's manipulative. This is almost Shakespearean. Guys, guys, Dad just tweeted. Thank God, about what? He said he's playing in a game later today. Some kind of hey? epic live event that you can stream on this app. <laughs> now if he's tweeting from his phone right now, then that means- I can that? track him on my phone. That's what I was gonna say. I think this movie has a better handle on the family stuff outside of the Space Jam world than yeah. the first one. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's all about Dom. Dom's all about family. <laughs> it's, true. it's a shame they don't own any universal properties. <laughs> you already got what you wanted. Your friends, Toon World. I still need my son back. Outside these lines, be as loony as you want. But inside, you do what I say. He touched this. An abusive father is what he is. Oh no. Uh oh. He's here. Let the space jam begin. Oh, begin no. jamming. <laughs> Let us go to space. Well, if it isn't the old news Looney Tunes. Looking just as washed up as ever. Uh -huh. I think it's time for an upgrade. An upgrade? Oh, what in the world? Whoa. Oh, snap. We're going 3D. Whoa. <laughs> What's happening? Wow, that looks so real. <sighs> it's the best effect yet. Let's get some butts in DC. Easter eggs galore. Oh, so Easter eggs many galore. Butts. One giant iron butt. <laughs> oh, his whole team is here. Right about. Right about. Buffering. I hope I'm not looking at the background the whole time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Pennywise, right on. there, the duck. <laughs> Pennywise, the Joker. <laughs> so many now. Yeah. White Walkers. Ice King. DB Cooper. It's game time. Oh. Where are we? <laughs> Hello, Ralph. It looks like that's game started. Who's this guy? Got some VIPs coming in. No! Yeah! <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> Something's not right here. Hallway fight, oh damn. Hey, what is going on? Where's Dom? I don't know, but I have to go play this game to save everyone with. Bugs Bunny? Uh, what's up, Doc? Oh. You know how to play, right? It's basketball. Of course. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. You should have paid attention to your son. Yeah. Most of you can't even watch the game from there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they better have one gigantic jumbotron. If King James wins, you all get to go back to your regular boring lives. If my team wins, you all get to stay with me in the server verse forever. <laughs> that wasn't the deal. Oh yeah. Didn't see that coming, did you? You gotta read the terms of service. <laughs> All of the tunes will be deleted, so. Oh no! What does she have against the tunes? I don't know. Maybe he's just an ageist. Wow! And this next young man I'm bringing up, y'all gonna love him. He's my hero on the ones and zeros, Mr. Dominic J. Oh no.
Animaniacs in the background. Yeah. There. <laughs> Tower. You gotta win this game. You gotta crush his dreams. <laughs> the lighting effects. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> Up to bottom. Bugs Bunny gonna need a rabbit's foot against this. <laughs> Enter in the splash. Oh. Oh. What? Style points, that. Style points? Style points? What is this, college football? Out of my way, you big worm. <laughs> Thank you. Help oh. me. <laughs> Alright, Pickup throws down a monster dunk. Wow. And again. Eat that, eat that, eat that, eat that. Again. Is this legal? Man, she got six arms. What else is she supposed to do? How is this fair? Cause video games. I've never seen anything like this. LeBron's gonna Are have there no to... rules in this game? <laughs> gonna have to level up. You assist. Wow. Wow. There's Pete. no rules. It's rigged. This whole game's rigged. Got you with the Iverson. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Two points. Yeah. Let's go! Him and Lola. <laughs> They're gonna carry the team. What do you call him worm? Not you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's so late to say that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember actually calling you that. Oh, I got this. Wait. LeBron's on a mission. He wants to go coast to coast. Oh. oh. Hi now. <laughs> They're way down. Stop beating this way. New character unlocked. New character. <laughs> Back to the bucket. We need Bill Murray. I don't know if this counts as a miracle, but I found Michael Jordan. He was in the audience. I know he can help. Really? It's wow. better be real. <laughs> I know. I'm like, what's coming right now? Oh, Jordan! <laughs> Man, okay. look at Michael B. Jordan. The actor, I was just getting some popcorn and then this cat grabbed me. How could you think he was his anus? They look nothing alike. <laughs> did not see that coming. Nope. It's the only thing that could have worked. <laughs> That's why Ryan Coogler produced this movie. That's right, just to get him in there. <laughs> <laughs> just getting him in here got him that credit. <laughs> I've been trying to save my son and coach y'all at the same time. What y'all doing? We've been trying. Trying to do what? Trying to be like you. You're all his children. Aww. He had learned to let people be themselves. Time to do what you guys do best. <laughs> you did it, LeBron. You saved the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Back in action, LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Tunes are coming back out here for the third quarter with some renewed energy. And I don't understand why. They are losing really badly. <laughs> thousand, two points ahead. <laughs> oh. Smart. Yeah. Knew it. 
Wait, I wasn't I wasn't trying to start it. <laughs> oh no. Hey Porky. Fry him. Fry him. This is, this is like not a basketball game. I know. <laughs> like at all. Oh, oh boy. Hey, here goes nothing. <laughs> Battle is now over. The that, that's all, folks. Oh. Dude, Mike, that, that's all, folks. Porky pig. That's the bacon right there. <laughs> <laughs> what game did your son invent? <laughs> Anarchy How could ball. you possibly play this? <laughs> Even on like a PC. Uh, what rules exist to govern this game, or is it just whoever's done scoring by the allotted time? And just like that, the tunes have a thousand points on the board. You having fun yet? Not any time. Games aren't about fun. Tick tock. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Senior discount. Got you, Brock. Yeah, That's move. That's right. right. Oh, yeah, the other move the, the Lola Bunny did. <laughs> hey! hey! <laughs> Moron Mountain's finest. Go, baby! Here we go! Dude, I don't even care if we make it back to the real world. Oh, they got everyone in costume just to be like. Tuna Goon, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Yeah, regular background extras. <laughs> These extras were just hanging out for hours. Just, uh... <laughs> just behind them just the whole time. <laughs> Maybe your dad was right about you. Letting you be you was a mistake. Oh. Oh. Don Cheadle. It's taking your Emmy nomination Everybody away. Move down. Then we could all sit on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really funny. <laughs> I so clear out. Ooh. Hug him. Dad, what are you doing? We're in the middle of a game. Your game is amazing, son. But I guess I would have known that if I'd have listened more. Sorry I didn't. I want you to be yourself. Do you understand how much I love you? Do you understand how important you are to me? Uh-huh. I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Sounds right to me. I love you, Dad. Aww. Oh, now that's beautiful. I think you want people to fear you more than anything. And I'm not about that, LG. I made this just in case. Thanks, Granny. Meh, what's up, Dom? Duh. Go ahead, Dom. Because it's not your game anymore. I am the game. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. My. Oh no. Uh, play some tea. Monster. Oh. What? We thought to break the internet, baby. So creepy. Remember? The step back glitch. In and out, crossover, step back. Shoot. That move froze my whole game. The game crashes, LG won't be able to control it anymore. And if he can't control it, he can't stop us from scoring. When my character did the step back, it got deleted. So whoever does the glitch move will get deleted. Pepe Le Pew has to do it. Oh no, is Bugs gonna do it? I'm gonna do the step back. <laughs> 
What? No. no. Dad, you'll be deleted. It's I'm not, not a you... video game character. LeBron, you don't have to do this. No. no. Listen, just give me the ball. Toon Squad on three. One, two, three. Toon, Toon, Toon Squad. squad. Toon Squad. Bugs is gonna do it. I can feel it. <sighs> Say it ain't so. Ten seconds on the clock. One style point play away from victory or defeat. <laughs> Last chance. <laughs> Bugs, what are you doing? In and out. Cross over. Step back. Bugs, no! Yeah! Bugs! Bugs Bunny. Now we'll never remember him. Bug shot is gonna be short. Oh. But wait, LeBron is flying through the air. Oh. Uh... Seth had been at least ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Do the long arm. Long arm. Do the long arm. Do the long arm. Regular arm. The <laughs> regular arm. <laughs> Did it, LeBron. You saved the Warner Brothers archive. <laughs> 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 I love you! <laughs> we did it, Warner Brothers. We did it. We made Space Champs equal Warner Brothers. Now destroy the servers forever. Like taking care of the people you love is fundamental. Thank you. Fundamentals save lives. Goodbye, Bron. HBO Max is restored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can go on watching a wabbit. <laughs> no, why is he still Bugs. glitching? That's all, folks. No. What? What? What are is you doing, Ruby? <laughs> no, Jesus, Bugs. <laughs> you can't do that to Bugs, buddy. <laughs> so, Dom, you ready for basketball camp? Look, you didn't know where they were driving. Oh, smartest kid I've ever known. He was driving on the road. He doesn't spend any time outside. You know, he's never seen a map. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Hey, man, have fun. Hold on to the basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Bus. <laughs> this is not a scary movie. For <laughs> Hey, Bugs! What's Bugs doing here? <laughs> I told you, I'm a toon, Doc. I can survive anything. It's good logic. You did it, Space Jam. I'll rewrite history from here on out. Million dollar granny. Nowadays, anyone can kick Ronda Rousey's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have any of her Looney Tunes powers in that fight. <laughs> Still beating Ronda Rousey. Wow. How has our real world been affected by this? Not much. You know, a few thousand people were, were displaced for a couple of hours, but otherwise, you know, it's they experienced fun. a blip. I hope that they make... I pictured them in the suits. I was like, I could do a Men in Black with LeBron James and Bugs Bunny. Yeah. All right. So we just watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think we're going to talk for too long. I know I said that every time and we end up talking for like 20 or 30 minutes. But I feel like we can keep this one pretty short. Fairly short. Uh, yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it. I didn't dislike it. You know, I think, um, I think just from 
expectation standpoint and then seeing all the you know negative criticism it was receiving from critics it about set my expectations at the right pitch so there was nothing here that i was like mad about i don't know there's, there's a lot of cynicism that seems to be surrounding this movie of it being like the hbo max warner brothers advertisement film right which yeah i don't blame people for feeling that way and i mean to me i'm like sure it's there but at the same time i i was there there were plenty of moments especially in the first half when they are hopping around to the different warner brothers moments that i thought were like really cool i thought it was cool when you were looking at the when they go into like the dc world and it's like oh they brought the animation back they, they animated them exactly like how i remembered when i was a kid uh i thought that was great you know they have some fun with with, with the with all the hopping around shit that they were doing and I thought that they did a pretty good job on the father-son story. Like, that, I guess what, if anything surprised me was I wasn't expecting to be emotionally endeared towards the LeBron and son storyline. And I wasn't expecting to have as many genuine laughs as I did when I was watching this. And I also wasn't expecting, the third thing I would say is that I thought Don Cheadle would be annoying and I didn't find him annoying. And so to me, overall, there's a win. There are some things that I definitely did not like about it but overall i thought it was cute and it was fun and i i don't know i don't i don't, I don't feel the, the 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 cynic in me surprisingly did not come out when watching this i feel like I, I would be likely to go there but surprisingly didn't feel cynical about their ip promotional stuff that they were doing mm -hmm. and because it, it seemed like they had even though there's like six writers here it didn't feel as much of like uh it, it like it didn't lack direction in what it was doing i felt like the director still knew what he was making mm -hmm. <laughs> and so due to that i'm like all right well, whatever is fine it, was, it wasn't uh, i didn't think it was terrible and uh, I, I surprisingly enjoyed it more than i thought i would uh not great there are some things that, that i could talk about but yeah john yeah it's not necessarily like high art or or cinema but yeah it's about what i expected a space jam sequel to be and for that i feel like it could have been way more annoying or way more uh you know lurid in its attempts to appeal to the here and now like i, I liked that it did kind of revel in some of the looney tunes-ness of all this and yes yeah, split the difference mm. uh with at least a genuine quality with the you know actual father son family dynamic like there's something about this yeah that i could see like it's 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 kind of exactly you just put it the right way it's like nothing here made me mad it's about what i expected the first space jam it was literally came out because it was based on a commercial and so like expecting this to be a commercial weirdly they didn't go into the other realms of hbo and wb owned properties as much as like it's funny it became a distraction to me part way through the movie only because it was like i feel like you got a bunch of extras to dress up like some of the wb characters and that's kind of the most presence they have minus a couple of like parodies and stuff so yeah like i feel like that's kind of the biggest hindrance on the movie but when it's just doing you know looney tunes animation jumping around between the different worlds and iterations i was having like way more fun with it and really enjoying yeah. it for what it was doing more than i expected to and then when it gets to the basketball like the first part of the basketball game i didn't find that enjoyable but i also don't mind that because that's part of the plot <laughs> yeah. so like they're supposed to kind of loosen up and get wild and then it gets more fun so yeah i mean they actually gave a character arc to lebron james yeah i thought they cared a little bit more than i was expecting them to care mm -hmm. in terms of doing some stuff because you know that's one I, I i like the first space jam movie i don't think it's a great film i don't even think it's that good of a film necessarily, but I, I like it because I grew up on it. Yeah. And uh, there's some really enjoyable stuff. And then there's some funny stuff to look at when you when you go back and watch it of how Michael Jordan doesn't really seem to give a shit about his family. <laughs> that doesn't really seem to matter like at all to him. Nope. He just wants to get back and play basketball. And not that LeBron James is by any stretch like a damn good actor or something. <laughs> but there are times where I, I was actually really impressed with his voiceover work when he was a tune character. I felt like that's when he seemed to show the most like 
range with having some fun. And uh, I didn't think he was distractingly bad at any moment. Like, he, does he reach the caliber of like, oh, he, this guy should star in more movies? No, I never really quite got there with him. But I think he did a better performance than Michael Jordan did in the first one. Yeah, and there's <laughs> something about the limitations maybe in the acting, especially for the lead character, that that adds to the charm. And yeah, yeah it's like LeBron James is clearly committed. He's clearly having fun with this. And yeah, there are certain moments that are maybe a little bit wooden, but I kind of expect that of Space Jam as well. Yeah, <laughs> you the know? movie calls it out flat out, saying, you know, like LeBron James, they have that meta joke of yeah. it never goes well when you put an athlete as a star of a movie. Yeah. You know, they're making fun of that fact. So they're they're not even setting the bar high in terms of expectations for it. But I don't think I would have been endeared to the performance, to the story of the father and son if he wasn't doing a passable job, to say the least. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so for an athlete starring in a movie and it's just a Space Jam sequel, they did a fine job. Like, uh, you know, I don't I don't I don't I don't think it's uh, anything terrible here of what he did. I do think that the um, in the ba- in the basketball game, what I think what what it is, it's it's starting to come to me right now. What was throwing me for a loop? Because I, I yes, the first space, it's it's hard to describe it because I could be like, there's no rules here, and if some of it doesn't make any sense. You're like, well, that's kind of like the first one, right? Like, if you haven't seen this movie and you say that, people might immediately just go, well, it sounds like you're describing the first Space Jam. Sure. I think, though, what made it muddied was how you can make so many points that are not connected to putting a ball through the hoop. Yeah, you know in a I mean? video game. Uh, like, it makes sense, but it also does take away from the basketball tension. Yeah, it's not even a space basketball game. It's, they call it Space Jam 2. Like, I don't really give a shit that they're not in space fighting, uh, but it's not a space basketball game. And they, Server Jam. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's what it was when I'm like, okay, there, there's. It's such a. It, it's, it became a little too wild for me when it, I think it would have helped just focus it a tad bit was the only way to get points really was by making the ball in the hoop that way it still feels like a basketball game like you can do all your weird set pieces you can still do all your breaking away into rap game rap battles and whatever do all that like wacky shit but in order to get a point you still have to score a ball in the hoop yeah and i think that would have just made it that much more improved of feeling like you're actually watching a basketball game to a certain extent no matter how ludicrous and sci-fi it is you know well and i almost feel like having just it like just a basketball game grounds it in this weird sense of like you've got all these other crazy fantastical elements and and then they're just playing a very familiar game and i feel like there's a comedic absurdity to glean from that whereas this you know you're in a crazy science fiction Mm -hmm. server you're whizzing around between ip planets and you're learning a new version of not really basketball (laughs) and so yeah it's like every Everything is sort of jacked up to 11 in that sense. And it would have like it. That's where I started to feel like there were six writers on this movie because it does start to feel like a medley of sketches, which a cartoon, a Looney Tune in a lot of ways is. And so I'm not like upset about that. But when I think back on it as an experience, weirdly, the first Space Jam feels like more of a contained experience somehow well i think i like the first half of this movie more everything yes. leading up to the game yeah i actually like the first half of this movie more I than really the first like, yeah. jam but i i like the game In of the original, of the space, original jam. space jam more than i like the game here like as yeah. great as a lot of the effects look some of it look really weird but never really bother me because of what the the property is or why like Don Cheadle looks bizarre when he's like CGI oh, droid yeah. like it looks weird like <laughs> Scorpion King Dwayne Johnson died <laughs> you know uh, well you can see the displacement of the budget because you get certain CG effects that are so beautiful and then you do get these like extras who look like they were dressed in an afternoon <laughs> yeah oh yeah they half ass that for yeah. sure <laughs> and there's so many shots <laughs> yeah they didn't do anything really that creative with it. it it got to the point where it was sometimes it was a little distracting because I, I'm not really paying attention to because everyone's in focus for yeah. the most part so you have like a shot of don Cheadle and he's talking 
and then all these people who are who just they don't, they don't look like the characters are actually brought to life they just look like extras dressed in costumes yeah. so i find myself like i'm not even paying attention to who's the center of frame which is don Cheadle or lebron james i'm just looking at who's in the background and yeah. i, I kind of missed some of what's being said yeah. <laughs> because the background's becoming distracting and it doesn't really feel like lived in with the server verse because it just looks like extras in, in costumes, like yeah. people who got clothes at a, like a Halloween shop or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look like the janky background extras that don't get as much rendering in like a video game or something. So yeah, I would have liked the game to feel weirdly. That was the part I was like, I would have liked it to just feel a little bit more like, because the first one does have the crazy, you know, like yeah. breaking the Pulp Fiction moment. He has the long stretch arm thing. Um, there's a lot of crazy, s- silly shit that happens in the first one. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, well, if you're gonna dedicate like 30 to 40 minutes of the game in, in your movie, now I'm now I'm gonna have like a an actual criticism about what's being done here. Yeah. And that I'm not really gonna be as passable on. Yeah. Because while there's still enjoyable moments in there, I, I'm not gonna disregard that. Like, there's some cool looking effects, and there's some funny moments. I think Don Cheadle. I think Don Cheadle is probably the most surprising part to, of this to me because he easily lo- could have been the most annoying thing about yeah. this film. And he managed to hit the right pitch for this character where it did feel like a character with a with a purpose. And the, the, he, he has this like really... You know, uh, he, he knows how to put on the charm, but you could feel something a lot more malicious underneath all that. He and I like how it sometimes comes out and it comes out in the right moments. I, I was surprised by Don Cheadle, how he actually built a character out of this. I mean, you shouldn't be because he's a great veteran actor. He's one of like the best of our time. Yeah. So he's this amazing actor, but he, he was good there. And then he had some really and like from beginning to end there. He, he just had certain lines that, that really cracked me up. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's funny. He he kept reminding me of that of Welcome to the Internet, just in that way that he does like appeal to Dom in this very sort of like, no, you're great, and this is magical yeah. what you can do, and we're gonna build off of your idea. And in ways, like I started to appreciate the movie for things like that, where I'm like, oh yeah, this weird personification of an internet algorithm is a better performance than I was expecting, and a weirdly kind of more interesting villainous entity than I was expecting in a way, especially for you know the relationship yeah. dynamics that it plays on between the father and son and the way that it twists them and everything and my favorite part in terms of like doing the cartoony stuff was when lebron first gets thrust into the the looney tunes world. oh yeah because in the first space jam especially you know as people who grew up on it i'm, I'm naturally going to come because it, it, it technically follows a lot of the same beats as the first film yeah it really does but the execution on things are di- is different, which I was glad about. It's l- like, for example, when he gets thrown into the Looney Tunes world, he himself becomes a Looney Tunes character. I like how they messed around with that, where he doesn't understand the anatomy of how any of this works, mm-hmm. and it keeps throwing him for a loop. I loved how he was a fan of the Looney Tunes, yeah, and they yeah. really played into that. Like, that was hilarious. And, yeah, all the animation t- towards that was gorgeous to look at. I even liked the 3D animation of them, too. I think, though, what was missing for me, this first Space Jam movie, as more as much as it's more than just Looney Tunes, and it's more focused because they're not dealing with the Warner Brothers world, and it is... I love how we're, like, seriously talking about this. As, 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 it's not really dealing with the Warner Brothers world. It's just dealing more with Looney Tunes, and you got Aliens. And then, yeah, you got, like, your Bill Murray and your Wayne Knight. Uh, Wayne Knight? Wayne Knight? Yeah, yeah, you got your Bill Murray and your Wayne Knight. You have those guys there, but... It still feels pretty focused on that, whereas the Looney Tunes are kind of a thing here that I always enjoyed watching, but I felt like the movie itself didn't really care about them as much as they like. I think they cared about Bugs Bunny, but the tunes themselves, it was there's just so much mayhem going on that it feels like Looney Tunes aren't are included in this, but it doesn't have the Looney Tunes doesn't feel like a Looney Tunes film or even a Looney Tunes adjacent film. You know what I mean? And I think that comes down to the fact of how, at least in the first Space Jam, Michael Jordan spends a lot of time training them and bonding with them before they get to the actual game. So there's a progression and when they actually start winning, Mm -hmm. you know, in the first one. And here you don't really get that. You know? no. no, and it, it hit me when they f- have that scene at halftime finally in the in the locker room and I was yeah. sort of like, oh yeah, it's part of what this movie has been missing because as much as I appreciate them not going full bore with the server verse and making everything about IPs, like, you know, there's a good amount of that, but I felt like 
for I like that they didn't ready player one it. I like that they had the whole LeBron wants to put together like a Superman, Iron Giant, whoever mm-hmm. else team, and then eventually it's just the Looney Tunes. But it weirdly it felt like the universe was much less Looney Tunes and more them trying to exist within this greater server verse narrative. Because yeah, in the original movie, that is very clear what the stakes are. If they lose the game, the Looney Tunes are gonna go to Moron Mountain and be slaves forever. Whereas this one, I was like, okay, they're gonna I guess disappear if they lose. But why does it? Because Don against? Cheadle hates them yeah. specifically <laughs> yeah. for some reason, yeah. and I, you know, the and then the points don't matter, and yeah. There is like a sort of hodgepodgeness of like there are a lot of Looney Tunes characters, there are a lot of really charming madcap moments, but weirdly, <laughs> the first movie knew when to slow it down and when to make them a bit more of an ensemble or, or something like that and build on more than just the kind of shtick between uh, you know your core athlete character and the tunes. Well, yeah, I mean they have a pretty definitive main storyline here, which. It's like the Looney Tunes are just kind of a- along for the ride in this one. Yeah. Where they don't really <laughs> yeah. need to. Because in the first one, they're, it's their at stake, so they pull in Michael Jordan. Yeah. And then here, they're, they're kind of just there. <laughs> you know, yeah. like they've been brought along. But what I did like what they did with it was they actually gave a, a rather surprisingly emotional story for Bugs Bunny here. Mm-hmm. That... Uh, that actually um that was something that i I felt a lot for uh Mm -hmm. you know when he even though you know he's gonna do the lebron move at the end um (laughs) you know when he is like being deleted and stuff i really cared in that moment i'm like bugs what did you do and i'm like is this movie killing off bugs but you know that's all right big (laughs) shakeups in the the looney tunes universe (laughs) so that emotional storyline i actually thought was cool of a guy who's a bugs bunny who feels like alone and he's He's essentially like doing his Bugs Bunny thing by tricking uh, LeBron into just recruiting. Like we're yeah. going to the worlds that LeBron wants to go to to get the characters he wants, but he keeps walking out with the Looney Tunes yeah. characters. You know, so I thought they could have added something uh, there. Of I never even wanted you guys like having a thing where there's a conflict of like you tricked me, Bugs. Like having it be something there with them. That way, it still feels like. A Space Jam sequel in the sense of it's also the Looney Tunes are like n- n- the main supporting ca- like they t- they technically are. Um, do, but, you, do you get what I'm getting at though? Yeah, with this? no, they technically are because they're all working at the same goal and they're all on the team together. But yeah, you don't get those moments of actual emotional team building because yeah. yeah, Bugs wants. To, I like the idea of Bugs wants to do this just so he can get his friends and family back. Yeah. That was cool. But in terms of being involved in the game, they're just kind of involved in the game because they have to. Then then at the last second, they just throw in, uh, we need some stakes for them being here. Uh, they're they're going to be deleted. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just introduced that like right before the game. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, there's, no, there's no Michael's secret stuff or anything like that. There's no, yeah. And, like, they, and they try. I like, I like how they have the moment where LeBron learns his lesson of what he's doing wrong as a person, as a father, in this, it, with the when with, when he's in the locker room with with the tunes, and he realizes how he's treating the tunes and trying to control the situation. But because of its lack of focus, I was like, well, I didn't really even get the sense that that was that's what was going wrong in the, in the game when you were <laughs> that, that you were not letting them let loose and be. I'm like, I didn't really get that sense at all because you, you, the movie was not showing me how there was a conflict of that happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because most of the time, I feel like they could have maybe benefited from splitting the time that they establish once he arrives that, oh, you've only got till the end of that play clock to assemble and train your team. And I wish some of that had been training rather than going, okay, we finally got the team and now we're going to have an argument and now the game's going to start, you know? Yeah. Like some, yeah, some kind of, because that could have also contributed to the fun in a way Definitely. that then focuses yeah. back in on the Looney Tunes so that you're not still mired in and everything else WB owns, you know? Yeah, like the I thought the t- I thought what they were going for was the tunes were supposed to represent the fun side that LeBron lost as a child mm-hmm. because he became all about discipline. And so I thought what they were at least attempting to do here, which they do by an outline sort of like certain beats, it's there. It's just there's so many missing scenes that don't focus on this is that the tunes are supposed to bring out the childhood fun back with LeBron. Yeah. And that's when he realizes everything he's been doing wrong. So in order to win the game, he has to embrace the inner child within him again that miss out on all that fun. Mm-hmm. 
But you see, I'm, I personally think I'm, I'm saying that better than what the movie com- is did with most of their with the scenes that where they could have done that. Oh well, yeah, because <laughs> I thought they were. I thought they had an opportunity because that's like the one of the early scenes in the movie. Isn't the game he's playing uh, on his little Game Boy or whatever when the coach comes up? Isn't it a Bugs Bunny yeah. game? Like yeah. yeah, I thought they were gonna make something about like oh yeah, like I love these cartoons yeah. growing up and yeah. Well, that makes sense. Like oh, that's he was a fan of them. Yeah, so that's I mean there were things there that I could tell that's what they probably wanted to do more and i think it would have made it a more focused film where you where all that other stuff is you know cherry on top and a, and a blast with all the ips mm. but yeah I, I thought they 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 could have done it and and that's the part where i'm like oh you, you had something here where because 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 the emotion and the reason i guess I'm, I'm focusing on it because the emotional shit with him and his son worked for me in this film so clearly having a little bit of extra heart and and I don't know if the right word is weight, but nuance t- towards our main character that you didn't get in the first one surprisingly worked for me. Mm-hmm. And the thing that lacked was the connection with the Toons characters. Yeah. And that seemed like a thing on paper that they were wanting to do and they kind of did it, but they didn't didn't really do it yeah this, this, it just are, happened when the plot was saying it needs to do that <laughs> yeah. yeah these are interestingly opposite movies because like this one improves on certain aspects of the other and then kind of loses its way yeah. in feeling like a single coherent film and it's yeah it's funny to me because i saw this at the outset and i was like six writers and a hour and 55 minutes what is this gonna be and i feel like an hour like like the time that they had is enough to have done I, I, I find it interesting because I feel like they had enough time to do what we've just been talking about, but also they managed to gracefully express more than I was expecting originally. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Well, I think they had a good grasp on the on the visuals and the pacing of the film, mm-hmm. which uh, like this felt like and it still felt like a movie that was assembled versus the the other one, which just felt like a product yeah like this definitely you know? this does feel it like still feels like a product was, but the more care was put into going <laughs> how do we actually make this kind of resemble a real movie even though everyone knows what we're doing yeah, like i felt like the director was trying to make a real movie and then he probably had a lot of studio people coming in and then all the writers like whenever you have that many writers that means all right get it just, okay forget that guy he's not writing anymore we're gonna cut out down a lot of that stuff out. all right forget this guy's we're gonna adr guy. Get this guy. all yeah. that guy's scenes yeah, into one so, line and then add a bunch more hijinks and usually that many writers means the studios are constantly hiring new writers to do a new draft of this or something like that so um i don't know maybe it came down to that too but overall not, yeah, not, I enjoyed not it. half bad. Yeah, <laughs> overall I enjoyed it. It was, it was a little bit better than I expected yeah, it to be. I would, I would agree. Yeah. So, hey, you know, Pretty all fun. Uh, all things aside, of any criticisms, I think it's an enjoyable family film, and I, and I like the I like the idea of family seeing it, and you know, because people were saying shit like it's a family film, but why does it have all this stuff with like the horror characters and everything? I'm like, they're kind of just they're in the background. They're not. They're not even focused on, you know, you know what I mean? Well, and they're and, like for the absurdity of just like, they're just cheering. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it's all, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I'm like, of course, I don't think kids, yeah, maybe kids won't give a shit about that. But I like the idea of family seeing this and with the message being of parents encourage your children to be who they want to be and don't try to control their dreams or passions you know if anything let them uh, support them and then find the inner child within you like there's some cool themes here where i'm like what are the themes of the first one i can't even think of something that (laughs) that was a lesson to be learned don't be enslaved for an alien theme park (laughs) where yeah i thought i liked what they did here um so i think it is a good family film and uh, i'm weighing it against those standards i'm weighing it uh, in comparison to the first one and um yeah, and I'm waiting against how, bad, how much worse it could have been. <laughs> so, all in all, uh, pretty much enjoyed it. But what did you guys think about the film? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Hit that like button. Last but not least, let's do a... Niraj Krishnan, my loony tune from another 
part of the country. There was no rhyme to do there. But Naraj, I hope you're doing well. If we had to do a space jam in order to save the history, not the history, the future of the channel from being deleted by the algorithm, I'd pull you into the game. And I'd also give you some sweet powers. Like uh, I would mix you with an animal of some kind, like a, like a tiger or uh, like a jellyfish or something so you could zap people. Uh, and then, you know, think of all the worlds we could go visit. Oh, dude, like some of the some of the uh, less, you know, spectacular, but no less great Warner Brothers films uh, yeah, such so, as. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, okay, my. Right, right, the Naraj messaged me. The Naraj a, messaged uh, you? A photo he of messaged my, me. Yeah, yeah, sh sh shut up. Why do you keep talking? All right. So, um, yeah, I have this photo where my, my hands are in my mouth like there. And then Naraj okay. messaged me saying uh, just the way you like it and with a smiley face. I think oh. it's for everyone. Uh, Nar Naraj, oh. I've sent you so many messages. You're not on my space jam anymore. What were you saying before I said any of that?